What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the series where we talk about future Great Ones possibilities of future Great one species. In this one, we're talking about the possibility of a Great One Cape Buffalo. This one is all about the Cape Buffalo. If you missed the previous episodes, we've done the Great One Lion, the Great One Wolf, we've done a Great One Bison video, Gemsbach, as well as Bigfoot. If you haven't seen those five first episodes, I'll link them down in the description. Definitely check them out and get caught up. But today it's all about the Cape Buffalo. But more specifically, I wanna talk about a subspecies, an extinct subspecies of Cape Buffalo from the Pleistocene era. I've done this in a lot of these videos. We talked about the Bison latifrons from the Pleistocene era. We also talked about the Dire Wolf, the Cape Lion. So it's kind of been a going theme that I've kind of been doing for these videos. It's such a cool era about 10 to 30,000 years ago where a lot of really cool, really amazing, really huge subspecies of animals existed and went extinct. And I think it would be really cool if EW went and started to kind of theme and base some of these great ones off of some of those really cool extinct subspecies. And a good sign is that they kind of did that with the fallow deer with the Irish elk rack variation. That was definitely a nod to the megaloceros, the Irish elk, which also existed existed back in that same time period. So this isn't really that big of a stretch, aside from the fact that most of these species are not on the base maps, Hirschfeld and Leighton, so that would have to change. Aside from that, this isn't really all that far-fetched, and I think it would be super cool if they started to go down this road for some of the Great One variations in the game. So in this video, I want to talk specifically about the Buffalo Pelorovis, or Pelorovis. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that. This is an extinct genus of African wild cattle. So essentially, this was a subspecies of the African Cape Buffalo that we know today, which existed during the Pleistocene Epoch. This subspecies became extinct at the end of the late Pleistocene era, around 12,000 years ago from Southern and Eastern Africa. Fossil and archeological evidence indicates that this species lived in North Africa until about 4,000 years ago. So not very long ago. These, these things were around only up to about 4,000 years ago, which is pretty wild. Now this subspecies, this Pelorovis, Pelorovis, they were absolutely gigantic. So we know that Cape Buffalo today, the bovine of the Cape Buffalo today, they are an absolutely giant bovine species. They top out at about 900 kilos for the big males, which is absolutely gigantic. Full grown Buffalo Pelorvis weighed up to about 2,000 kilograms. That's 4,400 pounds. So that's over twice the size of today's Cape Buffalo. That's more than double the size, 900 kilos versus 2,000 kilos. And their horns were absolutely giant as well. Totally different than what we're used to today with African Cape Buffalo. 2,000 kilograms is absolutely giant. These things would be just staggeringly huge. And I would hope that if they did this in the game, you would be able to really see that difference. These things would just be absolutely giant. You wouldn't be able to miss it. It would just be staggeringly huge and rather terrifying actually too. So with this size, this ranks it as one of the largest bovines and one of the largest ruminants ever to have lived, rivaling the extinct American longhorn bison, the bison latifrons, which we talked about in the the Great One Bison video. If you didn't see that one, check that one out because we specifically talked about that Bison Latifrons, which is the biggest bovine ever recorded in the history of the earth. The horns of the Buffalo Pelorovis were absolutely magnificent and huge, as I just mentioned, but they resembled more of the horns of today's water buffalo than today's Cape Buffalo. Long, very long, curved horns with the fossils of the horns that have been found today reaching about one meter, about 3.3 feet long. Now that's just the skull of the horns though. So in their living state covered in keratin, they could have reached up to about twice that size. The horns pointed away from the head and formed a half circle, as you can see in the pictures that I'll be posting in the video here. So of course, this would mean an African Great One species. We've already talked about the lion. So hopefully if this does happen, this would mean that Africa 2.0 would come at the same time, a new Africa map, and then either, you know, hopefully a Great One lion, like we talked about in the Great One lion video, or the Great One Cape Buffalo. For me, those are the top two picks by far of any uh, African species for a great one that currently, you know, resides on Verhaga Savannah. Because of course, I think EW would want uh, an African species of great one to be on both maps. You know, they don't, I don't think they want great ones to be on only one map. So it would make sense if they're doing uh, an Africa 2.0, put lions on there or put Cape buffaloes on there and give us a great one of one of those species. Imagine the multi-mount possibilities. What can you guys imagine for a multi-mount with a great one Cape buffalo? The cool thing about that is there's already the breadwinner mount. So that could be very, very cool. Imagine a down the road 
road, we have both a great one for the lion and for the cape buffalo. Imagine, imagine the cool, incredible possibilities for the breadwinner multi-mount. But what other multi-mounts could there be? Let me know down in the comments, you guys. What kind of multi-mounts would you guys want to see with a great one cape buffalo? What could it go with? What are some cool, creative ideas for some multi-mounts to accompany uh, the great one cape buffalo? Now, what would the grind be like? The thing with the, the cape buffalo in Africa right now that I don't really love as far as, uh, you know, the thought of grinding them is that they're just kind of along the coast. So it's it's almost, you know, similar to like a river grind. I don't know if it would be a super interesting grind. It's not easy to set up having them along the coast. I think it could be super tedious. So I would hope that maybe they would do a little bit something to change up their home ranges, change up the population a little bit, change up kind of where they go, maybe put more of them at the lakes, but also do something to mix up the grind, make it a little bit less tedious, make it a little bit harder to, to do things like herd management, speed up the process. Maybe we change the way time resets work. Maybe we make it a little bit more like way of the hunter where you can't just spam the time resets. Maybe, you know, you need to play four hours or something in game before you can actually do an effective time reset. That would make things a little bit more interesting, make it a little bit harder to speed run these grinds. Maybe we'd see a little bit less uh, great ones popping up all over the place, super rares. Maybe make the respawns completely accurate so you can't uh, manipulate the way that the respawns work, making it a little bit more random when these things spawn and a little bit harder to actually just control that so that it is more randomized and it has more to do with the, the random spawn rate of the great one as I believe it is intended to be. Different variations. So like I said, obviously the Buffalo Pelorovis, Pelorovis, I still don't know how to pronounce it. I've said it both ways throughout the video, but yeah, um, you know, whether that is the, the overall theme of it and, the, and all the variations are kind of based on that or whether they just decide to do one of the variations be this huge, you know, Buffalo Pelorovis, just absolutely massive. This one, this one is like way bigger than the other ones. Maybe the other variations are based on today's Cape Buffalo and they're smaller, but yeah, I'd love to see some tribal markings, some scars, maybe like an albino variation. I want them to, to get creative, artistic, go out there with it, get a little bit out there, get a little bit wacky. I would be down for that. Huge horns. Let's see some massive horns and, and things like that for sure. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me. I think I've babbled on long enough about this. What do you guys think of the idea for a Cape Buffalo great one? Uh, what would you guys like to see? Is there anything I missed? Anything that you guys would like to see? Um, you know, any little bits of information that you guys want to add to the conversation? Let me know down below in the comments. If you didn't see the other five episodes that I've done so far, as far as the future great ones go, the future great one series, check them out. The links will be down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to drop a like. It helps a ton. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. We're on the road to 100K. Thank you guys very much. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.